Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of gold and silver. We'll look at the dollar, 10 year yield, precious metals, and then the companies themselves get a good gauge on what's going on. Again, this is just my financial opinion. Please don't use this advice. Uh, we'll dive in here. I'm getting excited guys because I see platinum going down. Uh, it is uh, reaching levels that I think I'm gonna be buying some more again. So it's good. Uh, and I, I look at that as, the way that I look at this stuff is if we have the market conditions right, and I, I think we do have them right, um, when it comes back, I'm a buyer, I'm an accumulator. And with the ratios where they're at, uh, platinum's by far the best deal, uh, but it may stay down for a little while. That's the, that's the thing. And I'm looking at this from a long-term perspective of accumulating wealth over time. So that's my viewpoint. I'm not trading in and out. I'm not doing these short-term movements. I'm buying when it's cheap, when it goes below the high uh, high cost producers, <clears throat> and then I cost average in, and then I hold on. That's that's my strategy. So let's let's dive in here. Give you my opinion. We got the dollar. The dollar's continuing to go up a little bit, 0.14 percent. Um, here we're coming up into some resistance area. We'll see if that resistance area holds, uh, or if we break higher and actually have a, a pretty large run in the dollar upward. This could be a very big run if it breaks to the upside, uh, signaling that the dollar is going to be stronger than the majority of other currencies. We can still have massive inflation. It's just having less inflation than the other currencies. I do think with time that the dollar is going to uh, re be removed as a reserve currency, but that's, a that's from a long-term perspective. Uh, so in the short term, we very well could be going higher. Looking at the the ten year yield, the ten year yield continues to move on up, up another two percent. It gapped up higher. It had a little bit of selling pressure throughout the day, but it continues to go higher. And the markets do not like that uh, over time because, especially with the rate that this is going, this is a very quick move in rates. And I am still looking at all the data, seeing how the markets are digesting this move. Uh, the overall stock markets definitely don't like these higher rates. Uh, and, and I think gold is is in a in a spot too where uh, the rates have moved up so quickly. Uh, remember, we are at a very low level in terms of percentage gains on how fast these rates have gone up. Uh, they've gone up quite dramatically. And I think the markets are trying to digest all of this. So rates have been going up. Uh, bonds have been going down. Uh, just to look at bonds to show you, bonds have been breaking to the to the downside. And there's kind of a, a a big picture view of bonds. You can see this kind of dropping out. We can throw a a kind of a trend line in here that we're going to be attacking next. Uh, somewhere in that general vicinity is what we're going to hit next uh, for support, and we'll see if we break through it. Uh, this means that bonds are being sold out, and it's this money is going to rotate into something else. Uh, looking at gold, we're basically flat today. Uh, we are flat today. We're we're calming down. I usually like buying when things calm down, and we're starting to calm down a little bit, and that's good. That's good. Silver, you know, silver is calming down as well, uh, 0.44 percent. Uh, I don't know if we've hit a bottom yet. Uh, there is some support kind of where we're at, but um, I usually just wait. It it does look like we're turning around here. That's why it was a green day. We we opened down and kind of came back up, or opened basically. Yeah, slightly down and came back up. I mean, it, it's looking better. It's looking better. Platinum's still struggling, and I like that. I like that it's struggling because I'd like to buy some more down here. We're hitting the buy zones, and I, I'm going to cost average in down here. I'm going to buy a little bit. I'll show you guys when it comes in uh, that I'm buying it. I'm buying physical metal, and then I'll put it in storage. So, uh, yeah, I, I like it down here. I'm going to wait for it to. Uh, Kind of turn around a little bit. I might. I'm going to fire some off here. I think an ounce or two, uh, and then I'll just cost average in when it comes down here. Uh, XAU to gold ratio. The ratio is starting to hold firm. It's basically just moving sideways at its support line. Uh, that's what we're expecting for it to happen. Uh, and if we back out, this is the line I'm talking about. This line going across here. Uh, we're just dilly dallying with it right now. If we can get a clear break from here, I think the mi gold and silver mining companies will take a run at it. Uh, but not yet. It's it's still holding on. We're getting a little bit of uh, selling pressure today with Corora Resources. We're putting a little wick at the bottom. That's usually good. It means people are buying it. Some buyers are coming in buying it uh, at the end of the day. 
EXK, a little bit of wick at the bottom as well. Again, I like purchasing uh, things in this general vicinity uh, of a breakout. That's what it looks like big picture wise. Uh, so I, I like buying things on these retest moves. Um, so I think it looks good. FSM's in another spot that I like buying. I typically like buying on top of these uh, these breakouts. It breaks out and then it goes kind of back, does a little retest. And that's where I like to cost average in a little bit. SilJ, another one that's got a little wick at the bottom, getting a little bit of buyers today. Again, it's sitting on top of a breakout. Looks good. GDX, sitting on top of a breakout, getting a little bit of buy-in pressure. And, and, and obviously, guys, I mean, we could pull back here. Uh, and, and I'm not worried. I'm just going to cost average in. That is how I mitigate the volatility. I cost average in. You buy some when it breaks out. You, you, you might have some, you know, go up like this. Maybe maybe you got suckered, suckered in here. You buy some there. It pulls on back. You buy some here. Uh, that's that's how I mitigate um, the, the volatility. No one's going to be perfect. We're all human beings. And no one's going to get the, the absolute bottom or the absolute top. If you think so, I mean... <laughs> it, it, it's just too i think it's gonna be very difficult um metallic minerals corporation another one uh it's getting a little bit of support there uh it's right at support resistance just moving chopping sideways the entire time uh koya resources getting a little, little bit more of a sell-off maybe it's doing a double bottom um we might be in the process of doing what's called a double bottom uh looking at discovery silver i mean these are really small you know, companies, guys, these are, these are the explorer exploration companies still in the down downtrend. Now, if this, if this were to break down through here and get down to like, say, you know, 97 cents dollar, I would be a buyer of it again. Uh, I think that these are good long-term plays and that's why I'm accumulating all this, uh, in these companies. I don't think we have the silver that they want when, when they go to ramp up electric vehicles, when they want to ramp up solar panels and all these other things, I, I just don't think we have enough silver and that these new exploration mining companies with a bunch of silver will get their chance to, to make mines out of them. First Majestic Silver, another one that's broken out of its downtrend, kind of just sitting up here. We could have a little bit of a pullback more so, but um, I still like it in this general vicinity. General vicinity. Newmont, another one that's got the big buying pressure and then the slow leak off of sellers. I think we'll probably see a move higher when gold moves at any at any point. Mag Silver is another one that's just kind of consolidating in this tip here of this pattern. Still looking good. Uh, Yamana Gold's already taken off to the upside. Uh, this one's had a pretty good run. Small update today. Uh, Impact Silver just moving sideways. Uh, looking at this guy from a little bit bigger picture view, this is could be kind of like that type of bottoming type pattern. So it still looks good. Uh, some of these, they may have, they may take some time, guys. They may take some time with these small exploration companies. Usually, the big guys move first. We've seen movement out of Newmont first. That's a gold company, and then we're, the the mid cap silver miners haven't moved yet. So these small guys may still have some time left. Uh, PLG, another one that's been moving sideways. It's getting a little bit of support right where it's at. It's looking a little bit better. Sibinia is still water, still trying to find some support. Hasn't found it yet. Uh, Sandstorm Gold, a royalty company. <clears throat> this is one that I do uh, like quite a bit. It's one of my larger holdings. Uh, we're sitting on top of a pattern that is broken out, and I still think it's in a good spot for a potential buying opportunity. Uh, Franco Nevada continues to look very strong, uh, up 1.99%. We're sitting on top of the pattern. That's exactly where I buy. Uh, my companies and we are sitting on top of it and we're about to break to the upside uh, emx now some of these smaller ones they they'll lag behind it and they're lagging behind it right now it's a small royalty company but i still think this is a good one we may get a full retest down here guys if that's the case i'll buy it again i will buy it again if we get that full retest uh Tutin resources another small uh more speculative uh, royalty company they don't have much earnings um this one's also pulling back. Wheat and Precious Metals, which is which is a giant, is consolidating up here in this corner uh, into which I think will be a move to the upside eventually. But that one looks good. Uh, Gold Royalty, another smaller royalty company, moving sideways. Doesn't look too bad compared to some of these other ones. 
uh, Metalla Royalty in a spot that I really like to accumulate shares. Mavericks Metal is another spot that I like to accumulate shares on top of these patterns. So whenever they get on top of these patterns, that's when I start getting, um, getting excited about it. Whichever way I put it, can't really see it very well because that one day. Royal Gold's had a pretty big move. I mean, it's still up a little bit today. I, I said over here, you know, buy it off this breakout, and it just never pulled back. It just keeps going up. Uh, a Cisco Gold Royalty is another one that I like right in this location, right where it's sitting. I think that's a good spot to be looking at a potential pickup. Um, I think they've got a little bit. Uh, they're, they're still losing money a little bit. They're still developing their uh, their royalties to become a, a, a positive income. And then uh, Altius, yeah, I know. It doesn't have precious metals, guys. I put it with the royalty companies just because I was looking at royalty companies. Uh, it's got a little bloody nose on a monthly candlestick basis. Uh, we're just consolidating up here. This does have potash and other commodity minerals in it uh and and i don't really have anywhere else to put it because there's not too many other um companies that do what they do but overall guys i think the, the overall sector looks good um platinum's pulling back that one looks a little bit weak but uh that's where it gets my attention because when it gets to certain levels uh, i'm gonna start buying buying again in the physicals uh, i wait for things to come back i didn't know if we were gonna get another move lower that that we've seen here I didn't think we were going to get it. I thought we were going to just go and move to the upside. But uh, you know what? When they when they give you opportunities to buy things that are cheap, uh, I take it. And I'm getting a pretty I'm getting pretty weak on my physical holdings in relationship in terms of percentage wise in relationship to some of my energy stuff. So I got I can beef it up down here uh, and, and start adding in. So that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to buy physical platinum. Um, and cost averaging quite slowly uh, into it. So um, everything looks good. We're sitting on top of patterns. We're just waiting for the takeoff, guys. We're waiting for the takeoff. If we may pull back a little bit further, that that's still in the cards. And if we pull back a little further, then I'll just buy more. That's that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. Just like a robot, buy more when it's down, hold on when it goes up. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like the content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, check out my website if you guys need some help. Uh, with this commodity bull market, I'll be posting lots and lots of companies, uh, giving you guys information on what I think are some of the best companies in certain sectors. Uh, again, that's only my financial opinion there. Uh, some of the, they are what make up the majority of my portfolio, and I give you the reasons kind of why I think so. Uh, some of them could be as simple as they have uh, some of the highest grade rare earth metals in the world. So I'm going to pile into it, and I think that's a lot high likelihood of becoming uh, a mine, a developer. So uh, there's certain things like that that I'll share um, on the website. You can see those picks. You can see the charts. You can see what I'm doing and what I'm buying uh, and the reasons why. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully uh, you have a good day. This is Finding Value.